it's Haley from AGK Artwork and in today's video I'll be talking about mosaics. What really inspired me to make this mosaic and make a video about it was a mosaic piece I made when I was in sixth grade. When I was younger I went to a ton of different art camps with different themes and different things to do because I just loved art. At one of my art camps one of the projects was a mosaic. I had never done a mosaic before but no surprise here I was really excited to try it. All the kids in my camp were doing mosaic patterns, but typical Haley wanted to do something different. <laughs> I decided to make an animal portrait on my mosaic, even though the instructors told me that probably wasn't going to work. Ever since I was little, I've been obsessed with tigers, and it's actually pure coincidence that I'm wearing a tiger shirt. That was not planned at all. <laughs> So naturally, I thought I would do a tiger portrait for my first mosaic. <laughs> Here is my first mosaic, and as you can probably see, it looks nothing like a tiger. <laughs> Obviously, the closer you get, you can kind of see what I was trying to do, but when you back up, you have no clue what this is. Overall, I think it's super cute for like a sixth grader mosaic, but I know I can do better now. So first thing I wanted to do was look at my old piece and see how I could improve. I thought to myself, well, obviously it needs more details so that you can make out what it actually is. That's why the most important thing for this new mosaic was for it to be much larger so I could get much more detail into it. Without further ado, let's get straight into the time lapse. finished mosaic and I'm quite happy with it. I did not realize how long this would actually take me. Wow, this took me forever. For the cat itself, I used a mixture of both the texture side and the flat side of the tile. I used mostly vertical textures for the chest as the hair was going down and I used a pretty equal mixture for the face. I decided to double up some of my layers of tile on this piece to try to make those certain aspects pop. I didn't know how it was going to turn out because I had never personally seen that with just plain mosaic tiles before. I'm glad I did it because I'm pretty happy with the outcome of where I did double up. I put a second layer on some whiskers, the nose, and some of these tall grass right in the front. Down here in the grass, I decided to use a couple of marbled tile. And it's not just any old marbled tile, it is marbled tile with shimmering pigments. So that looks pretty cool. And lastly, I used an iridescent tile for the highlight of the cat's eye. Overall, I'm really happy with how this mosaic piece turned out. And though I wanted to give up at times because it can be pretty frustrating, I'm so glad I pushed through and now looking back on it and looking at the final piece, I feel like I want to create some more. 
Are there areas for improvement? Absolutely, but I feel like that kind of goes for everything that I do. I personally wouldn't change anything about this because it was a learning experience and I got to figure out what I should do, what I shouldn't do, what I should change next time, what I should do again maybe. So I overall think this experience was a total win. My favorite part about this project was seeing my progress from sixth grade all the way till now and I'm just really proud of myself for continuing my dream and just pushing myself to keep going and keep learning. And now this piece that I once looked at as a fun little craft I did as a sixth grader means so much more to me. If y'all liked watching this mosaic time lapse, leave a comment down below and maybe tell me what mosaic you'd want to see next. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.